Hello and welcome to this video for Blackboard Learn. Today we're going to take a look at creating calculated columns in the Blackboard Grade Center. So we've already taken a look at how to create a column within Blackboard where you can input various information in each individual cell. Today we're going to take a look at how you create a calculated column and what a calculated column is, is it's a column that's going to take a look at other columns and then give you some sort of value or data. So the very first thing that I want to take a look at is the different types of calculated columns. There's four types and I'm going to briefly go through each now. So what an average column is going to do, it's going to take a look at a certain amount of columns and it's going to give you the average score for all those columns. We have the minimum maximum column. Uh, what this does, it'll look at a certain range of columns and it'll either give you what the maximum score is or the minimum score out of that set of columns. We have the total column. What the total column does, it will look at your set of columns and it'll give you an aggregate score or percentage for all those columns. And finally, we have a weighted column. What a weighted column allows you to do is break your grade center up into different categories and then each category can be given a percentage to equate the final weighted total grade. So the two that are used most on campus here are total and weighted. Average and minimum not so much, but for the most part they'll be very similar to total and weighted. And we're going to go specifically to total and weighted today. If there's any additional questions you can always contact the ITC on these two. Um, but again, they're pretty self-explanatory once you get in there and once you know how to use a total and weighted, it's not too difficult to get an average or minimum maximum columns. So we're going to go ahead and start today by uh, talking about a total column. Now, by default, Blackboard's already going to throw in two columns for you before you have anything in your grade center, and the two columns that they always throw in are total and weighted total. Now, I kind of have them separated up. I already had did some manipulations in here, but for the most part, it's usually weighted total, total, and then the remainder of your columns. Uh, a quick side note, you'll see this little check mark next to this uh, total column. For the most part, when you get into the system, it will always be by that total column. What that's telling you is that that is the external grade for the class. So it's going to assume that your total column is what you're going to be using, and so it's going to always show kind of that aggregate score of everything. Think about it as a marker for the column that shows you your external grade. Uh, typically it's there for integrations with SIS systems. We don't currently have it set up in that way, so at this point I use it, like I said, as a marker. Now one of the things that it does do is it prevents you from deleting the column that has an external grade set to it. So how you can, uh, maybe if I wanted to delete this total column because I was actually going to use my weighted total column, how I can move that is I would just go to my weighted total column, hit the drop down, and click set as external grade. And it'll move that check mark around there. So now I have actually the opportunity to delete my total column if I like. So that's just a, a little sidebar there, but let's get back into what the total column is all about. So we already have one set up. Let's go ahead and just make a brand new one. I'm going to go to Create Calculated Column, and I'm going to do a total column. So I can call this anything I want. So I'm going to actually just call this one um, Assignment Total. That way we'll be very descriptive as to what it is. We're going to go down and we'll give it the score. That's fine. You can just show how many points everyone earned on the, the assignment area. Now I have an option. If I just do all grade center columns, it's going to take everything in the grade center. And that's not what we want. We could do specific ones based off of grading periods, but that's also not what I want. I just want to pull out just the assignments from this particular uh, total column. So if I click Selected Columns and Categories, I'll get this neat little menu here, and we have some options. Now, we haven't set up categories yet, so this bottom area is not going to come into play until we do that. But these are the various categories that you can uh, classify these different columns in. So for just now, we're going to look at individual columns. So this would be every individual column within your grade center. And since we call this assignment total, we're going to total up all the assignments together. So what I can do is I can hold control on my keyboard, hold the control key down. If you are on a Mac, it would be command. And then you go down and you will select the individual columns that you would like to select. So those are the four. And then I click this arrow and I shoot those columns over into the selected columns. So now this total column will only calculate the scores for these four assignments. Once I scroll down, 
I do have this thing called calculate is running total selected. Now what that's going to do is if there are any blanks or just any completely empty cells within any of these columns that I have selected, it's going to overlook it. And so what that does is maybe you set out all your columns for the semester but you're only a, a third of the way through. Well it's still going to give you a true grade as to what you're earning on those assignments instead of giving you a zero in those cells that you haven't completed yet. So Calculate is Running Total is a great little tool to have on. Okay, so we are set and ready to roll. I'll just need to hit Submit. And now those four columns will have their own total column. You'll notice that my assignments have their total, and it has totaled them up. And it should look a little bit different than our total at the beginning of our Grade Center here. Yep, they have 499. And if I go down here, there's 309. And the difference is because I only selected four columns. What's also nice is if you highlight your uh, column header, it'll give you kind of an idea of how many points were available just even on assignments. So you can see where total would be helpful in breaking down the individual areas of your uh, your course so your students would be able to see where they're, they're maybe letting things slip a little bit, not doing well in assignments, but doing well in tests, you know, things like that. So definitely can use that total column in various ways in your grade center. So let's now take a look at weighted total. Now, since we already have a weighted total in the Grade Center, we're going to go ahead and just use this one. We're just going to edit this column. So I'll hit the drop down and edit. And you'll notice right now it's not even feeding any information in there. And the reason is we haven't set it up to do anything. So if I hit edit, you can see our weighted total there. Scroll down, it's going to show us a percentage. And now when we get to category three, we can see that we have the same selection screen that we had when we were doing our totals. Now the only big difference is, if I went and I did the same thing I did with my assignments before, so I'll take those four assignments and I put them over here, you're going to notice that it gives you the ability to put a percentage in. So this is where you can give a percentage. Now in this particular example, I wouldn't do it necessarily on the individual columns. We would do it on the categories themselves, but you could do it on the individual columns. So let's just say we had 25%, 25%, 25, and 25. That would equal a weight of 100%. So if we went with this uh, kind of a, a setup, basically it's giving each of these assignments a 25% weight and it's going to give that calculation as to uh, what you're earning on your assignments. So in this particular example, uh, we'll go ahead and just hit Submit, and we'll be able to see the weights for those particular assignments. Now, just a heads up, if I went back in here, and I'm gonna edit column information. So let's do it a little bit differently, and let's not do it by individual columns. Let's do it by category. Now here's the different categories that are pre-set up by Blackboard. So we'll just go ahead and use these. We have another categories video that you can take a look at that explains a little bit how to get these categories in here. Uh, but for the sake of this demo, we would select, let's say, assignments, tests, and discussion. So these are categories, and these are going to hold different assignments in there. So when I push that over to this side, I'm going to get some have some options. So first off, off I can go in and say my test category is worth 50%. I can go down to my discussion category might be worth 25%. And finally, my assignment category would be 25%, so that all weights out to 100%. And now you'll notice that you have some different options available once you start doing these categories within a weighted total. And first off is the equal or proportional. So if you weight them equally, it's just going to look at a percentage and it's going to say 100% or 100 point assignment out of 100 point is worth always 100% or a 50 out of 50 is always worth 100% as well. So it doesn't matter, it's only going to look at the percentages. Whereas proportionally, it's going to start looking at the points. So if you're going to be putting a whole bunch of different information into these categories and they're going to be different point values and you want those point values to matter, then you definitely want to put it on proportionally. Otherwise, keep it on equally. A nice little feature in here is that you can also drop grades within a category. So let's say you had 10 assignments and you're going to be very nice and drop the lowest score on one of those 10 assignments. All you need to drop is a 1 in your lowest category here and it will automatically drop the lowest grade that it comes in contact with throughout the duration of your course as you enter grades into that Blackboard Grade Center. Okay, so at this stage you kind of get an idea as to how you would set up some weights 
and I will go ahead and hit submit and now it's going to change those weights for the different users and so that concludes this video on blackboard calculated columns